Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So before we begin, if you like the content on this channel, please hit that like button. And if you are not already a subscriber to the channel, then hit that subscribe button for more videos. Now in this video, I'm going to show you all how to convert a PDF file to an audio book. Okay, so currently I am on a development environment called PyCharm. And before we begin, we need to make sure that we have the packages installed that we will need to create this program. So if you're using Windows, just go to your command prompt and then type pip install and then the name of the packages that you want to install. So in this case, I will be installing pyttsx3 PDF plumber and pi PDF 2. Okay, once you have that typed in, just press enter and then the packages should install for you. Now, if they don't install for you here, you may need to do something else either with your development environment or use some other way to install these packages. But as you can see, the requirements here have already been satisfied for me, so I'm good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And next, I want to show you all the PDF sample file that I have here, or example that I have. So we are going to convert this PDF file, which I created, to an audiobook. OK? And you can read it for yourself, but I'm actually going to read it here. The PDF file says or states, this is a sample of a book. The story begins with a boy who wanted to learn about computers and happened to stumble on programming. The boy enjoyed programming more than he enjoyed playing outside, and so he decided to continue to pursue his interest in computers and programming. This boy would later learn many different programming languages and work in the computer industry. Who was this boy and where did he come from? Find out in Volume 2, The Mass Programmer. Okay, so... Again, this isn't a real book. I just made this up, and that's pretty much everything on the PDF file. Okay, so we're going to use this. Let me go ahead and minimize this PDF file, and let's start writing the program. So I'm back on the IDE, or the development environment called PyCharm, and I'm just going to create a new Python file. So I'm going to call this audio book okay and the PDF file that we just looked at is already in the same directory as this program okay so this is important because uh, we need to know where that file is located in order to open it and to extract text from it and do all the things that we need to do to make this program work okay so first I'm gonna write a description about the program and I'm going to do this in comments. So this program converts a PDF file to an audiobook. All right, next I'm going to import the libraries that I plan on using throughout this program. So I'm going to import pyttsx3. I'm going to import PDF plumber. And I'm going to import pypdf2. Okay. Next, I want to get the file name and the location of the PDF file. So again, the PDF file is in the current directory as this program. So I'm going to create a variable called file and set it equal to the name of the PDF file. So the name of the file is the underscore mask underscore programmer dot PDF. Now that that's done, I'm going to create a PDF file object. So I'm going to create a variable called PDF file OBJ and set it equal to open. And I'm going to tell it to open the file. And then I need to give it a mode. So I'm going to put RB here. So that will be to open the file in binary format. 
Okay. Next, I'm going to create a PDF file reader object. Okay, so let's just call this PDF reader. And let's set this equal to pi PDF2 dot PDF file reader and input the file object that we just created. So that's PDF file obj and then I want to get the number of pages within the PDF file so I'll create a variable called pages and set that equal to PDF reader dot let's see num pages yep so that will do it and let's scroll down a little bit Okay, now I'm going to create a PDF plumber object and then loop through the number of pages in the PDF file. And when I do that, I plan on extracting text from each of the pages. Right after I extract the text, Right after I extract the text, I plan on taking that text and then having the computer say what is in the text. Okay, so let me say that one more time. Let me tell you all the plan. So the plan is to create a PDF plumber object and loop through the number of pages. When I get to a specific page, the current page, I will extract text from that page and then I will have the computer say what is in the text. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to use the with keyword here and then I'm going to type PDF plumber dot open and then I'm going to open the file, the PDF file as PDF. And next, I'm going to loop through the number of pages. Okay, so I'm going to use a for loop for this. So for i in range 0 to the number of pages, which we have stored in pages, I want to get the current page at position i. So I'm going to create a variable called page and set it equal to pdf.pages at position i. So that's the current page. And then I want to extract the text in that page for the, for the player or for the computer. So I'm going to create a variable called text and set it equal to page.extract underscore text. All right, next I'm going to print that text to the screen for you and I to see it. And next let's go ahead and create the speaker. So we're going to initialize a PyTTSX3 object. So I'm going to create a variable called speaker and set it equal to PyTTSX3 dot init. Okay. And then again, I want to have the computer say what is in the text. So just type speaker dot say and then input text. And last but not least, we're going to run it. So just type speaker dot run and wait. And I think that's it. So let's go ahead and run this program. So I'm going to click on run. Test. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Run and then run. And then I want to run audiobook. This is a sample of a book. The story begins with a boy who wanted to learn about computers and happened to stumble on programming. The boy enjoyed programming more than he enjoyed playing outside, and so he decided to continue to pursue his interests in computers and programming. This boy would later learn many different programming languages and work in the computer industry. Who was this boy and where did he come from? Find out in Volume 2, The Masked Programmer. Okay, so as you can see, the PDF has been converted to an audiobook and you can basically use this for any PDF file. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching the video. 
if you want to support this channel, I will leave a link to my Patreon page in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope you all have a great day. See you all in the next video.